Hey guys. Hello. Hello, Facebook. Hello, Tracy's Fancy Facebook. I am continuing my live from Dixie Belle Paint page. I just finished almost an hour over on their page um, showing people how to do this old world, new, excuse me, neutral old world look that I have going on on the store over there. Um, this is a custom order from a client that wanted a neutral old world with a touch of whimsy look. And so this is what we have going on. We've used lots and lots of colors. Hi, Miss Terry. We've used lots of colors and a sea spray additive to the paints to add a lot of texture, um, which really helps when you add a lot of texture, it gives you the opportunity to really layer paints on and to be able to see every single color that you're adding to the layer. Hi, Melissa. Hi, guys. Y'all, please um, let me know when you come on. Say hello. I know that... Uh, Facebook has been so weird. Okay, I see you guys coming on. Will y'all say something? <laughs> I'm so paranoid. Melissa and Terry, I'm so paranoid after our after our uh, live last night that things aren't going to work. And right now I see people coming on, but I don't see any comments. Someone say hello. Someone say hello. Yes. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Michelle, thank you. Awesome, 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 thank you. Okay, so uh, let's get moving. So what we've already done, hi Melissa, thank you. That was so weird last night in our group. So, so strange. Hello, Jamie. Um, all right, so here's where we are. We uh, have added um, lots of color, lots of depth, and we have got very, very tacky glue in all of these more white squares where we are going to put our gold leaf and um, but before we do that I'm gonna finish some of this white highlighting I'm using a small brush just like this I've got my uh, fluff dipping just a little bit of fluff on it um, patting it out onto my paper towel that's down here on the floor hi Amy um, hello Annette and I'm doing some white highlighting so I'm going inside this trim area and just kind of highlighting that edge just just kind of bringing it out a little bit like this and just kind of scrubbing it on now I need to tell y'all like I told the other group that I we have a new puppy we haven't introduced her to the Facebook world yet thank you Brooke um, and she is awake and my family's not home so she's in her kennel and she is letting me know that she doesn't want to be in there so if you hear someone uh, squealing and screaming just know that it's a puppy and no one no one is being hurt behind the scenes I promise uh, hey guys share this with your friends if you don't mind um, uh, we've had some really good shares lately on some videos and I really appreciate that I've gotten a lot of new followers in the probably like the last week and it is from people like you sharing so I really appreciate it so what I'm doing right now is doing some white highlighting I usually use black glaze black wax black paints to do highlights so this is very different for me but um, my client had a like a, a canvas that she had bought at Hobby Lobby and she said I really really like this finish that's on this canvas do you think that you could make the piece in this similar finish and so that's been my inspiration and when I do get this piece done and I get it photographed and we and I write my blog about it um, I hope that y'all follow me on my website tracysfancy.com um, I will share that inspiration photo in there in the blog so uh, all I'm doing right now is highlighting this trim uh, I know that I'm going to put the gold on it anyway and it pops off, but this gives it depth. When you do something like this, it actually makes the, the center panel almost come to life, sort of. It's like it uh, brings it up. It elevates it. And it's got a bulbous look to it anyway. It's, it's very curved, so it's got this like bulbous. <laughs> Is that a terrible word? <laughs> Is that a terrible word to use? But that's what it's like. It's like it's, uh, you know, kind of coming out at me. So it does that anyway. But this helps. Doing it on both sides of the trim. Just like you would do dark highlights, we're just doing the light highlights. Oh, she is mad. She is like, where are my people? Oh, can y'all hear her? 
Oh my goodness, poor baby. All right, I probably got my head in the way, but I gotta, I gotta get this done before we gold leaf, and we are gonna gold leaf next, so bear with me. If you came on uh, to, you know, do more than just hang out with me, just know that we're gold leafing next. All right, that's pretty good. I'm just gonna do this outside. Okay, watch this, watch this white line. See that, see that white line happen? Now I've just got all my paint off and I'm just gonna scrub it. And because we've got so much sea spray additive, which comes in this little bag like this, it looks like cornstarch, it comes in this little bag. No, I'm not. I don't know why I'm being silly like that. I don't know why. I, I, I wanna introduce her as the family when it's all of us at home together because she is really bringing us a lot of joy during this really not so fun time. I mean, we're enjoying being together, but you know, there's just so much stress going on in the world and she's bringing us a lot of happiness and a lot of laughter and a lot of joy while we're cooped up here as a family. And I want to introduce her at least a photo of us as a family or something. They would be like, what? You showed her to your Facebook world and we weren't here? I totally know they would do that. And they're not here. And she's fine. She just sounds sad. She's okay. She's okay. You know, I had to go read about that because I was feeling so crappy about it. And they said, you know, it's, it's an instinct for them. It's their, if she's fed, she's been fed, she's pooped, she's peed, she's not hurt. Uh, but this is their way when back in the long time ago when they would run in packs, this was how the, the pups would let uh, the pack know that they had been separated from the pack. This is how the pack would find them. And after a few days, she'll realize that she doesn't need to do that because we're here at all times for her and we will take care of her. So, little little poppy lesson there. <laughs> um, oh, y'all are talking to each other. I love that. Okay, so do y'all see how it's highlighted? I think I've highlighted the whole thing, right? Just this bottom part maybe. I don't think I did it real well right here. Let me do that. All right. That's a little more than I would like, but okay. Okay, so now let's do some gold leaf, peoples. And then we'll go back and add some more white at the end. We'll dry brush some more white on um, at the end. So let's do it. The gold, we've already put the adhesive on. I used a small brush like this and I poured some, does Sparkles want to take care of her? Um, she does. I mean, not when she's crying, but she does love on her and um, runs with her and is playing with her. She doesn't really nurture her yet, but the uh, the puppy really likes sparkles for sure. Um, thank you, Dora. So anyway, I use, is it me or does the left? Okay, if someone's going to say that it's off, it is. So I put glue on the opposite uh, diamonds here. Um, it was an accident, but it's going to be a happy accident. And I'm lucky because I'm not going to say it yet, Brody. <laughs> I'm lucky because hi, Brody, by the way, that's my son, you guys. And he's in Okinawa, Japan, and he is saying hello. He and his entire family are in Okinawa for four years and we miss them terribly. Um, I'm going to do this, the third door on the other side, just like this. So the outside doors will be one way and the center door is going to be the opposite. Um, yeah, we have, it is, this is this one's lighter. It's probably the lighting. I'm sure it's the lighting. This actually the middle drawer is lighter than this one. This one doesn't have as much white on it. It's totally the light. I have all of the light shining on this piece right here. So don't worry, guy. Don't worry. I got it balanced. I promise. So anyway, I poured the adhesive into the bowl and I put it into my squares my triangles, my diamonds, whatever those things are, my Harlequin pattern. So now I'm gonna take my gold leaf sheets. Um, I've got them just in a zip bag here and pull them out. And we'll start with one sheet. Actually, I do need another brush. Let me grab another, another brush. If she's in the crate and we're all in the family room, she doesn't do that. It, she, she knows that she wants someone real close to her right now. All right, so I'm gonna do this piece. I'm gonna do this one right here in the front. So I'm just gonna put it on. And it doesn't matter if you don't perfectly place it because it's only going to stick where 
the glue is, okay? It's the only place it's gonna stick. So I'm just using my brush to rub this on and it's only gonna stick where the glue is, I promise. The rest of it's gonna come right off. All right, so I'm gonna get another sheet and we'll do the square. It's already stuck in there a little bit, so we'll do this one. Now, remember I did a tattered look, so as you can see the ones over there, they're not complete on purpose. I'm looking for an old world look. All right, now let me show you how I get this off. So I take my brush sideways and I get up underneath it. I come from up here, so I start scrubbing. See, I'm scrubbing my brush like that and I just scrub right down up underneath there, right down to the edge, just like that. And it just takes off the extra. I come up underneath it, scrub, 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 and look at that. See, come from this side, scrub it right down to the edge. Same thing here, scrub and it'll lift And remember, I, I didn't do these perfect on purpose, so I left that empty in the middle. I'm scrubbing off. Just like this. And there we go. There is a tattered Harlequin. Now this one's wanting to get on that one, that's fine. And look at that, it will not come off. It's on there, it's on there for life. So I'm gonna scrub this one off. There we go, there's another tattered one. See how pretty that is? Now this one's already found its little home down here and that's fine. Your, your square does not have to be perfect. In fact, I can pick up the scrappy piece right here. Um, <laughs> uh, Lonnie, it was, very, it was a very spontaneous thing. Uh, I will tell you the story. So Matt, Matt and Zadie have been wanting a dog for you know, we had a huge lab. We used to have this big lab. We had it for 14 years. Um, big part of our family, big part of my history. She was my dog while I was single. She was my teenager's dog. You know, it was very, very hard when she died. And um, we, uh, they've been wanting another big dog, but puppies, hello, they're a lot of work. And, um, you know, Zadie's in sports and school and she's not home that much and Matt's not home that much. It's me. I work more than anyone else in the family. I work more hours. I work full time, run two businesses from home. However, they were, you know, going to want me to take care and, and train and raise this puppy. So all along I've been telling them no. Well, then we got the coronavirus, you know, not, not we got it, but the world gets the coronavirus and all of a sudden we have a teenager who's home with no school and I have a husband who's home not working and I was like hmm everybody's sad everybody's you know getting grumpy because we're stuck maybe this is a good time to go ahead and get that dog y'all were wanting because now while I work y'all can train the dog so uh, y'all can you know do the potty training and the sleep training and Matt is Matt's doing the sleep training um, let's see where's my sticky where am I sticky at? Up here? Some sticky? I gotta find all my sticky. So that's what we did. And we got online and started looking and Matt drove all the way to San Angelo the other day, uh, three hours each direction, last Sunday, I think, and picked her up. And so now we have a new member of the family and she has a lot of work, but it's really not bad with, with the three of us, it's not bad. And that's what I wanted, you know, I didn't, I didn't want to be the only one. But oh my gosh, she's so mad. Okay, so basically you see what I'm doing here, right? I'm just curious what it's gonna look like as an opposite from the other side. But this isn't the finished look, y'all. Um, this isn't the finished look, because I still have highlighting, I've still gotta add white, uh, I've still got to add the gold. This is just one of the steps, part of the layering. So as I was telling the people on the Dixie Ball page, um, y'all, people think that they have to, if they're base, if they're a beginner, they've got to start super basic. Oh, well, I'm a beginner. I got to do basics. Well, okay, that's fine. But after you've painted a few pieces with one coat, one color or two colors, um, uh, 
N no, she's not a lab. Our old one, our old dog, our old dog's name was Harley. She was a lab. After you've painted a, a few pieces with a couple colors, I mean, it's fun and exciting, but it gets boring kind of quickly. <laughs> so to me, this is not an advanced technique, not the gold leafing, but the layering. It's not an advanced technique. It's something anyone can do. It's very, very forgiving. Um, as you can see, not, there's no rules. There's no lines that have to be perfect. You're not worried about brush strokes. I did not use a brush stroke on the entire thing. The entire thing was pounced. So you don't have to worry about brush strokes. Um, the only brush stroking that we did was the dry brushing. Um, need a little bit more down here. Oh my goodness, honey. Okay, I'm almost done. Chill. Chill, sister. I will tell y'all that it's a girl. I will tell you that. Chill. All right. Let me get this last one on. Everybody's feeling bad for her, I'm sure. Y'all are like, go get the dog. She's okay. They just put her in. They just left. All right. She can just hear my voice. Woo! All right. That looks good. So you just want to run your brush over it, rub it down, make sure it's adhering really well. Uh, you can fill around to see if you've got any sticky spots left, and I don't. It looks very tattered. I like it a lot. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? No, there's no secret reveal. I just want to do it with my family. It's our dog, and if I if I bring her on for her debut tonight, there I know that my daughter's going to get her feelings hurt. <laughs> Kelly, your boy's asleep. Thank you, Sue. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so real quick, I'm going to do a little bit of whitewashing on here. Um, I used my brush that it was white. She is cracking me up right now. And I'm going to get my fluff. I'm going to barely dip my brush in my fluff. I've got a paper towel down here on the floor. Pounce out as much of it as I possibly can. Get it nice and dry. And then I'm going to dry brush. Just start rubbing this white on in a super, super, no rules, back and forth, catching as much sea spray as I possibly can, highlighting it. Now, if you want to not have the dry brush look, you can start going in a circle. And if you rub in a circle, you'll actually kind of fill in your sea spray, which to me sort of defeats the purpose of having sea spray. Um, you can feel the texture, but if you want to see the texture, you want to stay right on top of all the ridges. If you go in a circle, you fill it all in. You don't want to fill it in. You want to stay on top of it. Now this red over here is a little too bright, so I'm going to knock that out real quick. And that one I want to maybe circle over a little bit because I do want, I don't want it. And I've still got to do this out layer. I've still got to do gold and stuff on the outside, so. All right. What y'all think? Anybody have any questions? You like that they're different, Brenda? Thank God. Thank you. I, I wasn't sure. I think I will when I get the gold on it on the outside and I do the other door to match it. I think that that will keep it from being like bump, 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 like it's been stamped on, you know, across the front. So um, we have, t oh, are y'all talking to each other? Yes, our dogs are indoor dogs. Are all the highlighted raised parts done in gold paint or gold leaf as well? No, so I'm gonna tell y'all, um, this is gold leaf, but these areas right here are a new product that I don't think is available to purchase yet, and it's by, uh, would, it's by Would You Been Molding, Sully Joe. Um, they are pigments called uh, Posh Pigments, and this is them right here. She sent, these, sent them to me. They are like, uh, like Mika powders, and it's called Posh Pigments. She has several, I think three different types of gold. And um, I used a mix, I mixed two different pigments uh, 
however you say this, Byzantine or Byzantine, Byzantine gold and brilliant gold. Why do they use words that I can't pronounce? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Um, and brilliant uh, gold. And I mixed the two together and I mixed them in um, Dixie Belle's Top Coat Gloss the gloss because it keeps it super shiny and um, you just mix it mix it mix it and it makes like a liquid gold I've always used that liquid gold in the tiny little bottle but this allows me to make it as thick or as thin as I want as sheer as I want or as opaque as I want um, so I really like that um, and so that's what I used right here and on this side as well and I just used I just put it on with my finger I'm not gonna mix it up with you guys um, and I'm not sure it's available yet but uh, I will find out and when I do blog about it or uh, post it on social media when it's finished if it's available I'll make sure that I put a link there for you guys okay it's really really pretty oh Deb you did you did how'd you miss us how'd you miss it yeah we just we just finished the gold leaf it looks really good. So I'll do this on my own and I'll still do the third door, but I had such a good time doing this with y'all tonight. And I'm just really, really glad that you guys can see um, how easy it is to do. Actually, I think I'm going to highlight the white even just a little bit more while we're still on here. I was about to tell y'all bye, but hold on because I think I made this really, really light right here on the other door and I'm going to do that. So remember what I told you about running in circles, um, running in circles. Um, I'm going to do that right here and right here because I see that I did that on that other door. Made it pretty, pretty thick right there. And the doors are not matchy matchy. If you watched me over on the Dixie Ball page, you saw that, uh, that, there was no rhyme or reason to where I was putting whatever I was putting. So down here on the bottom, can y'all see, can y'all see down here? If I move the camera, I lose internet. Um, down here on the bottom, same thing. I'm going to just kind of highlight down above the, right above where that trim is going to be that I'm going to trim out in gold. Get it nice and highlighted, cover up a lot of that gray. I don't want this piece to look gray. I want it to look more uh, like a stone color with a gray undertone. So this has a very, very, very stone look, you guys. Y'all see all this extra gold leaf down here? You see all that? Don't get, don't get rid of that. Bag that up. You can use that. And it's because you know it's expensive. So bag that up. See spray all the way. See spray. See, I moved the dang camera and it's like, whoa, don't get weird on me. Okay, see spray. See spray, see spray. All I love you guys. Y'all stay safe, stay healthy. Um, thank you. Share with a friend if you don't mind. Um, and hello, Susie. Um, thank you, Betty, for dang, dang, dang. Don't go, don't go. Um, I have a course launching Saturday. One and a half hours. One and a half hours on Saturday night from 7 to 9.30 on my Facebook page. One and a half hours for anyone that is wanting to learn tips and tricks about going live. Going live is my favorite thing to do and teaching. And um, if you have a business that has been hit hard by this coronavirus and you're going from brick and mortar or a booth to needing to go live while you're getting your website set up and your e-commerce set up and all those things set up, um, uh, going live is the best way to let people know that you're alive still and that you have a business still and you can start communicating you can start building those relationships with people uh you can start um gaining some traction and then when you have things set up and ready to go you're ready so uh yay michelle i'm so glad i'm so glad thank you yeah we've got uh, we've had really good response to it so it's this saturday night you'll get put in a private facebook group that you'll stay in for a month it will allow a, a nice private space for us to practice going live uh, the class is an hour and a half long, but we're going to continue some challenges throughout the month. Um, and uh, so that's that. So I hope that you'll join us. I kept it super affordable. Uh, I'll put the link at the top of this video when I'm done talking. Okay. If anyone's interested, message me, let me know, ask in the comments, let me know. And uh, we'll get you that information. It's this Saturday, April the 4th at seven o'clock PM. You don't have to be there live if you're you know, busy, which Who's going anywhere? We're all stuck at home. So uh, if you're busy and can't do, uh, Pat, I'm so proud of you. I am so proud of you. Pat's registered for the course as well. Um, oh, Pam, you like it? I'm glad. 
Mine too. Me too, girl. Okay, guys. Thanks so much. We'll talk to you soon. See you soon. Bye.